Hello and welcome to this video. So we've come a long way now. We've tested a strategy, we've collected historical data, we've learned a huge amount about pandas and how to manipulate data. Now it's time to go onto a more complex simulation. So I've had a good hunt around on YouTube and on various Forex sites, and there's a contributor called RoboPip, I don't know who that is, obviously, on uh, Baby Pips. And this person blogs regularly about algorithms and strategies. And what that does is provide us actually with a really good example strategy to use to develop some new techniques. So whereas the moving average cross strategy was really simple in the code because we just jumped from cross to cross, this strategy here that we're going to do is going to involve us stepping through the individual prices using the candles. And what's good about that is we're going to start off by just using quite high granularity like say four hour, but then we're going to have to maybe break those four hour candles up into smaller increments using our five minute candles, which is quite complicated and something that you need to learn to do. So the strategy itself you can see on the screen here is this inside bar momentum strategy. I'm going into this as blind as you are. I have no idea how well this works or back tests. I've never ever done it. So what you're seeing here is me actually doing this as well, but I'm quite curious, I must say. The strategy itself is pretty simple to, uh, to understand. So you have two candles. So you'll have a candle with a high and a low, and then you'll have a second candle with a high and a low. And if the high and the low of the second candle are inside the first candle, then you've got a trade signal. Now the buy signal is if the first candle is green, and the sell signal is if the first candle is red. And then there's a rule, let's take the buy, that you place the buy stop order, so the trade entry, 10% of the candle's range plus the high, and then the stop loss is at the high minus 20% of the candle's range, which is high minus low. We then set the take profit at 80% plus the candles range. So this allows us to do quite a bit of data manipulation inside pandas, which is good. The sell signal is the opposite. So there are some additional rules. We can have a look at a chart here. And the main rule is, is that if you have a pending trade or you're actually inside a trade, but you get a new signal, you have to cancel the existing trade or pending order. So here we have a trade where we have a signal because the high and low of this candle here are inside this one here. And then that immediately gets canceled because we get a buy signal here. And this one gets cancelled because we then get another buy signal here. And that one then gets cancelled here and obviously it never triggers. And then we get actually a winning trade here. Then we get a new signal here for a sell. That gets cancelled by a new buy signal here. That gets cancelled and we get a winning trade here and so on. So pretty nice easy system visually to do and something that should be fun for us to implement and see how it works in our backtesting system. Now there was an update I've seen to the strategy somewhere. If I just scroll down, the stop loss size was adjusted from 20 to 40 percent. Now I've said I'm going into this completely blind, as you are. There's one little thing I have looked at. I've looked at the results, which are presented as generally very profitable. I'm slightly skeptical of this just purely because there seem to have been a lot of ignored signals during the data and trades not put on. I've noticed also in the comments to some of the articles that other people have raised this as well. Nevertheless, thank you to RoboPip because there's a great system here for us to write some good code and learn some new stuff and test out how well this system works. So we'll get on with that in the next video. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.